Hello everybody, my name is Mark and I'm here in the name of the Den Food Boss looking at these old traditional German apple orchards. The orchards we're looking at today are located in the village of Gamburg. This village is named after its castle which stands upon a hill and underneath it there are terraced fruit orchards which mostly include apples but also walnuts. These terraces, they don't just make up the castle gardens, but they also stretch far and wide in this local area. The fruit trees you most commonly find within these orchards are the apples. These are very, very most predominant. You also see a few plums here and there. You see some pears, but not too many. There's walnuts big old walnuts. Also some nice, really nice cherry trees. And then, yeah, you have all these old terraces showing that even, yeah, who knows how long this has been here, but four or five hundred years ago these people really knew how to set up a permanent agriculture that doesn't go away you see it now and it hasn't been managed at all but it's still bearing fruit and yeah it's so great to see that this agriculture has preserved the soil preserved natural resources is tolerant to all kind of climate and weather conditions that are changing and these fruit trees are still thriving here. You also see in some places that these terraces, they have been so abandoned for so long that they have turned back into the natural forest here in Germany. Some of which includes oaks, beaches, the list goes on and on. I'm not going to get into this, but yeah. So. This place has been really inspiring and nice for me to see. Uh, sorry, there goes the church. We'll let it ring for a moment. Okay. So, um, yeah, actually I lied to you because I said that these places aren't being managed. They are, the trees themselves are not being managed, but the pasture is. There is a local farmer that has yeah, it's not traditional German variety of cow, but it's a not so domesticated variety. She got it from Asia. It's called the Zebu. And um, these cattle, they're more adapted to the inclines of the hills, and they can, they're more adapted to graze these terraces. She told me stories that some of her cattle, they even shake the fruit trees to receive some of the apples down from it and uh, they also can crack walnuts and they go jogging once a day they just go running around the orchards in the whole herd and uh, yeah so these cattle they're really beautiful and what's also really interesting she's told me is that uh, two years ago they started grazing up in this natural reserve that they have and this kind of contradicts what most of us think because a natural reserve we say should be left to nature right but in this case it's actually very beneficial because a natural part of any ecosystem is grazing and this is not overgrazing or undergrazing which will also lead to yeah degradation of the quality of the meadow but in this case they just really have a targeted rotational grazing system where the cattle have large area of land available to them to be able to select what they like and they eat and there's also enough time for all the herbs and grasses to regrow. What they found with this experiment is that the biodiversity count in plant life and insect life have really increased since they started to uh, graze there. I found this really interesting and I really wanted to share it. For now, I hope that you got some inspiration from seeing these old fruit trees here. And I wish you a fantastic day. <laughs>